Getting our first look at that preliminary report on the small plane crash into those power lines in Gaithersburg. The NTSB is shedding some light on what happened back on November 27th. News 4's Juliana Valencia is live in Montgomery County with the latest details. Juliana, good morning. So it was just one week ago that we were right here showing you that plane on the ground. And this morning we have a preliminary report. Now, initially the NTSB said it would take about two to three weeks, but they released it last night. And in it, some of the findings match up with the concerns that the pilot had. Now, weather conditions and poor visibility forced the pilot, Patrick Merkel, to fly by instruments only. Merkel made several left and right turns when approaching on initial waypoint for his descent into Gaithersburg, and then he then told the air traffic controller he entered the wrong waypoint name into his system. Now, throughout the descent toward Gaithersburg, Merkel was about 500 feet below the minimum altitude required at each waypoint. Now, these preliminary findings coincide with what the pilot told a 911 dispatcher last week. Take a listen. We're looking for the airport. Um, I descended to the uh, minimum altitude and uh, then apparently I got down a little bit lower than I should have. Now the NTSB says that Merkel's licensing and plane inspections were up to date and that he also has more than 1,400 hours of flight time. Now this was just a preliminary report, that final report that should take more than a year to put together. Back to you. All right, Juliana, thank you.